Jim, thank you. Well, and as those temperatures keep rising and the wildfires keep raging, some of you could be losing power. To help reduce the number of fires started by power lines, Idaho Power is rolling out a program called Public Safety Power Shutoff. A team of atmospheric scientists is monitoring the weather and fire conditions every day, and these include the high winds, dry vegetation, etc. Once those conditions become too extreme, power will be shut off. The agency identified nine high risk wildfire zones in the state. There you see them. You can see where they are right now. Mostly these are in and around the Idaho City area, Garden Valley and Lake Cascade. Now about 5,000 of you live in these areas. Mm -hmm. That is less than 1% of Idaho Power's customer base. Idaho Power spokesperson Sven Berg says it's not uncommon for power lines to start a wildfire. We've seen it happen in other states in the West. Most often a tree branch usually touches a power line, something that sparks. In the past, Idaho Power has de-energized, de that is, lines to keep firefighters safe, but they've never proactively turned off the power because of a wildfire risk. Berg says you can never be too careful. We want to just take a step, take an extra step in being um, being careful about making sure that communities are safe, um, our employees are safe, that customers are safe. Now we need to point out, turning off power is a last resort. Idaho Power is also installing spark prevention units and wrapping the base of wood poles in a fire resistant mesh. And to help spread the word about possible, not for sure, possible power shutoffs, Idaho Power is working with first responders in those nine zones. So you'll probably be made aware of it before yeah. it happens. Idaho Power is encouraging people to update their contact information online. That's key so they can reach you. Their goal is to notify customers 24 to 48 hours in advance if they're expecting to shut off the power. So do update that if you need to. Dozens of wildfires are burning across the United States right now. Take a look, including right here in Idaho. From Alaska to California, thousands of acres have burned. Hundreds of people forced to evacuate their homes and lives have even been lost. More roads and trails are closed because of the Moose Fire near Salmon, Idaho. If you go into these closed areas, you could be fined $5,000 and get six months of prison time. They're serious about this. Firefighters are also making progress on that fire. Containment now up to 10%. Monday, it was at 7%. The size is staying consistent at more than 37,000 acres, and the cause is still unknown. Elsewhere, evacuations and road closures also in place in Lemhi County, where the wood tick fire is burning. Officials also say people who live in Camas Creek, you need to evacuate now if you haven't already. The wood tick fire is burning about 25 miles northwest of Chalice. You can see it on your map here. It started back on July 14th, but grew in size over the weekend, now estimated to be 1,700 acres, which is not huge, but it's growing into populated areas, and that's the problem. These pictures were taken Saturday. Nearby neighborhoods, including Castle Creek and Silver Creek, you need to be ready to go at a moment's notice. You can see the smoke coming off this thing. The fire is expected to continue growing toward the south.